I was 23 years old and I'd been living all on my own for a few years. My parents died in a traffic accident when I was 18 and I had no other relatives. So when I lost my job, I got really worried. I had to find a way to pay rent or I would be thrown out. I spent weeks where I would search for jobs every single day until I eventually saw a help wanted sign on a video games and movies rental store called Video World. I went in, talked to the owner and he gave me a job after barely asking me about myself. I was so happy. I would now earn enough money to pay the rent. Moreover, the first days on the job were great. I had the night shift so I had to work from 8pm to midnight. Not many people went into the store at those hours, so my job was pretty easy. However, on one of the first nights, I had a strange sensation. I felt the hunch that something not very pleasant would happen soon. Out of the store, a thick fog started to invade everything in sight. From within, we could barely see the other side of the street. The last customers had already left and only me and the security guard remained. It was pretty late and I wanted to go home, but the guard warned me about how difficult it would be for me to find my way home in the middle of such a thick fog. And so we decided to wait for it to dissipate. We watched a movie in the meantime until the guard asked me to go with him to the storage room in the back to look for some old shows and take them to the store. The storage had to be accessed from outside so we had to go out. It was a dark and extremely cold room. Once inside, we started to take out a few boxes, but suddenly, one of the windows opened on its own and a furious gust of wind pushed a pile of boxes which started falling my way. Not gonna lie, I was very scared. However, when I saw the guard <laughs> laughing at that scene, I felt better. He pushed the boxes aside and when I stood up, one VHS tape caught my attention. There was something written on it. Looney Tunes, The Daffy Duck Martyr. A shiver went down my spine when I read that title and it made me remember the most traumatic events from my past. The guard asked me if I was okay, so I showed him the tape and he suggested that we watch it inside. At first I refused. Something inside me was telling me it wouldn't be a good idea, but I ended up accepting. We went back into the store, put the tape in the VHS player and prepared some snacks. The Looney Tunes intro immediately appeared on the screen, but it was distorted as if it had some sort of haze effect. It also had no music, which was kind of strange. The phrase Looney Tunes presents was also different. It would get closer and closer to the camera, but so slowly that it seemed to be some kind of editing error. It was so weird, and the guard looked at me with a dumbfounded expression as he kept on eating his snack. I was starting to feel creeped out. Then some sort of badly drawn hands covered in a red liquid appeared in the intro, followed by a voice that said, You'll never forget this, folks! Followed by a loud and disturbing laughter. <laughs> the guard seemed entertained. He probably thought it was just a creepy fan-made project or something like that. And outside, the fog was getting even more thick. So much so that nothing could be seen outside. Thus, we couldn't go home yet. The intro was over and now we were seeing a black circle. It was similar to those which usually appear in cartoons, the ones that get smaller and show a character. However, this time around, the circle was getting bigger and bigger until it covered the entire screen. And then, Bugs Bunny appeared. He was walking and the scene was repeating itself over and over again. Then we saw how he took a carrot out of his pocket and started to devour it. He wasn't eating it normally, he was furious. The next scene showed Bugs sitting on a tree branch, but everything shown was drawn unusually badly. And then he started talking, seemingly referring to the viewers. You sure you want to see this, dog? Ain't you feeling my pain? Immediately after, the camera zoomed into his face, allowing us to see that he was crying uncontrollably, just as blood was coming out of his nose. Then he looked at the camera again and said, He heard me! Don't provoke him! Do not look for him! At that point, both the guard and I were feeling uncomfortable. 
It was such a disturbing video. And even though I suggested we stopped watching, he still wanted to continue. So I kept watching as well. The next scene showed Pepe Le Pew and his girlfriend Penelope Pussycat having an argument. Their fight gradually escalated, and soon they started hitting each other violently and brutally. The camera zoomed into Penelope's face. It was beaten up and covered in blood. The camera then moved down, and we saw how the bone of her right leg was protruding out of her flesh. Strangely, everything around it looked somewhat distorted except for the bone itself, which looked like a human bone. There was blood everywhere, and noises of the cat and a skunk fighting invaded the scene. But suddenly, Duffy Duck appeared and said, Fighting again, you lovebirds? Is that what you want the children at home to be watching? If that's the case, why don't we make it a bit more fun? Then Daffy quickly took out a knife and started to stab Penelope over and over again, splattered in blood in all directions. It was a horrible and gruesome scene, and we could see how Daffy had an insane smile on his face. Pepe also seemed to be happy, making the scene even more strange and disturbing. We tried to stop the episode right there, but the buttons in the VHS player were no longer working and its lights started to flicker. On the screen, we then saw Duffy Duck decapitating Pepe Le Pew and then holding his severed head in front of the camera. The dog was screaming as if he was possessed. Is this what you want, kids? Do you like seeing blood? Soon your heads will be mine too. And then the scene changed, showing the dog devouring the entrails of his former friend. The worst part of that gruesome scene was the sounds, which were terrifyingly realistic. We tried to look away, but we soon noticed something horrifying. It was Daffy, who was getting closer and closer to the camera. He advanced, little by little, as if he was warning us that we were next. The screen then went black, and we heard another voice. It sounded like a girl yelling for help. Please, don't let them chop off my head! The guard and I were pale and shaken in horror. We tried to rush out of the store, but the doors were blocked. The lights then started to flicker, and it looked like there was no escape. In a fit of panic, the guard then grabbed his gun and shot himself. His body fell to the floor and I could only think about how to escape. I broke a window and fortunately I managed to get home. The next day I read the tragic news. Both the owner and the guard of Video World died that night. However, the owner wasn't with us that night, so I didn't understand what happened to him. Later on, I learned that his wife found his dead body decapitated and without entrails on his bed. And on the wall, there was a message painted in blood. I will be the worst nightmare of this entire town. Duffy Duck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.